Hey guys, Gary here and welcome to a live commentary on the map studio part of the Uprising DLC pack. Now, rather than doing a review style thing that I did last uh, map release, map DLC release, um, I'm doing it uh, this way instead. Now, this is mainly to save time as with schoolwork and things going on. It's a very busy time for me at school. Um, I just can't afford to spend the time making it, so apologies and hopefully this is kind of good enough instead. So yeah, this is me live playing, as I said at the beginning. Um, I played this map once before, just once. Um, I got kind of a bit excited because I waiting so long to play this DLC pack because it took a day to download because um, it was two gigs and you know maintenance and stuff. Live in Wales, have BT for internet sometimes. No, no, no! Ah, damn it, man. Okay, yeah, so I was, uh, when I first heard about, uh, Studio, uh, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, well, this is not much like, um, Firing Range. The minute I started playing, I was like, oh yeah, this is Firing Range, isn't it? It, it is literally just retextures. But, you know, it's better, better attempt than Infinity Ward made on, um, you know, giving us Terminal. Although, you know, as much as I enjoy playing Terminal, uh, nothing wrong with that. Whoa, whoa, lag! Jesus, what the hell happened there? Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, as much as I enjoyed that, uh, you know, they could have at least attempted to do something with it. Although, although, you know, with Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, it's different, like, eras. Oh, uh, but ends up, you know, the more office is, is near enough the same era. So I can kind of understand. But anyway, ran over. Let's enjoy this map, because it's a good map. You know, Firing Range was a, was a good map. Um... I don't know if it was my favorite in Black Ops 1. I really don't. Like, everyone, you know, going acting like it, it was the best map in, in the game. But I'm not, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Um, hmm, what map would I choose? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh. Yes, got him. And that one. I really, I'm really starting to like this Type 25. I never used it a lot, but it's a blimmin' good gun. Wow. Well, wish I was good at using it. Jeez. <laughs> that would help. Oh. Got him. Okay. Not bad, you know. Although, I was going to say not bad for the same time playing this map, but to kind of be fair to, well, to you guys, I don't know. Um, You know, I played this map a lot, really, considering it is the same layout as Black Ops 1. But, you know, I'm pleased to see it. It's a nice map. It's nice and bright. I like what they've done with it. Uh, they've cleverly rede redesigned it um, by making it this new uh, kind of action stagey type thing rather than a uh, military base style thing. It's really quite cool, actually. Um, and, you know, it's always nice. It's a win-win situation. You know, the fans love it and Treyarch don't have to massively, you know, do a lot of work uh, to make them out. They have to think of a brand new map idea. They can just use one that worked in the past. But, yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Right, then. Let's try and win this. Can I UAV? I've been using more counter UAVs in my um, in my score, score streaks because I feel that they are really effective. I never used to really consider them as being that effective, but uh, the more people's gameplays I've been seeing using them and the more my I see my enemy team using them against me, it's made me really realize how useful they are and how they can really change a game because, you know, you've... You've really got to... You really mess this other team up, is what I'm trying to say. Because they don't know where their teammates are a lot of the time. They don't know where the enemy is spawning now instead. So, you know, it is a really good score streak. So I'm trying out, see how we get on with. And then I may change it back. I like using things like, you know... Um, uh, miss, you know, missiles and things like that. And fun things that I get to control. and Because, you know, it's just change the gameplay a little bit. Come on. Shit. Oh, damn it, man. Could have got that. Could have got that. Wasn't a B, though. Yes, got him. Oh, no. Wow, how the hell did he get... Where's my teammates doing? What are they doing? Jesus, how the hell did he get behind me? I'm going to watch out. Oh, I think they're going to be close by. Okay, he's not here. They're going to be nearby. Oh, Got him. There's a guy behind me, isn't there? No. Swear. I felt someone 
breathing behind me. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, God, I don't like this. Yes, got the final kill. There you go, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. This is a really good map, and I'm, uh, it's welcome as part of the Uprising DLC pack. Subscribe to see me play uh, the rest of the maps in the map pack, and I'll see you on the next video. But as always, drink tea and game on.